You have a really, really cool leopard Sonoran boa there that yeah, I've done I want you to explain. Yeah, explain the difference, first of all. The hypo, we all know what the hypogene is. It makes things more dilute. There's two different kind of lines of hypogene. Explain well, what they are and, and, and if they're compatible. Well, this particular breeding, I did a hypo Sonoran leopard to a salmon leopard, figuring I would get some nice colored salmon leopards but in reality there was super hypos mm -hmm. in the litter and hypos distinguishing the two from e from each other and there was also normals so it just proves that the hypo sonora gene is compatible with the other hypo gene which is salmon there's also orange tail hypo which is similar they're all three of them are compatible they're compatible meaning you can create a super version mm -hmm. when breeding them to each other which i didn't think would happen but it definitely happened is there an advantage do you see color wise in, in crossing the two there's a huge advantage in adding the hyposonoran gene to these and that is that the hyposonoran gene keeps the pattern in place when you ah. when you create salmon leopards with just the salmon gene, the salmon gene kind of wipes away the pattern, the leopard pattern. And I'm sure you've seen that. Yeah, absolutely. In some salmon leopards. So when I added the hyposonora gene into my salmon leopards, it's kept the, the pattern very crisp and clean. And the orange color is really vibrant. Now, some people confuse the hyposonoran gene with leopard. Leopard is a separate morph. Leopard, well, what happened is the original leopards came from Sonora, right. supposedly Sonora boas. Mm -hmm. So that's why we've kept, uh, I've kept that line pure by breeding hypo Sonora into them. And right. so there's, but that's the whole Sonora a thing. Sonoran rep, le, a leopard, excuse me, a Sonoran boa is not a leopard boa necessarily. No, not necessarily. They're all separate. They could right. be just normal Sonora boas. And I think that's where people get confused. Right. But right. you obviously right. like that hypo Sonoran line because of the fact that the pattern stays and that you get that really bright I'm red keeping, color. I'm keeping the crisp, clear pattern and the bright orange red color is popping and through. They almost look like blood bows. I was going to say, you have blood bows right next door yeah, here. Look, look and the, I can't the tell color. the difference. Yeah, almost. look at the color. They're almost identical. And there's no blood bower in these leopards. Have you mixed the two yet? Blood with the uh, hypo Sonoran? Not, not yet. I think I'm going to do it this year, though. See, see, I'll have to make double hats. And, it's a long process, yeah, it's, obviously. It's not, it's not something that can be done I quick. Mean, what, do you think, what do you think if you had to speculate on your years of experience that they would look like? Like, would it just be a, even a brighter? It might just be a little brighter than this. So it, it might not, not be, be better. Worth it. Yeah. yeah, it might not be worth it. Or it effort. might be incredible. It, exactly. So we'll see. You know, I'd have to waste a breeding, meaning I'd have to breed a leopard female to a, yeah. a blood male. You love to do that kind of long term yeah, stuff. I've done it many times. Yeah. So maybe I'll do it again. We'll does, see. Does it get to a point where you get old enough and you start saying, I'm too old to do this no. stuff? I hear some of the, 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 the 60 year old guys yeah. saying that. You're going to hear the older guys say I that. Hear Tom Burke says that. Yeah, but you, you and I are young. So still we, young. we can we can do it. We have a couple we, years. We got, we got some time left. You know? It's always a pleasure, man. Great Thanks, seeing man. you again. Another great day here at the Daytona National Breeders Reptile Expo here in Daytona Beach. Uh, I saw so many great things from turtles to snakes to scaleless ball pythons. Talking to Vin Russo and all the great uh, personalities here in the reptile industry. I hope you guys enjoyed all the videos. If you did, please subscribe below, hit like, and I'll bring you a lot more. Dave Palumbo with Muscle Serpents University. Thank <laughs> you.